Hello and welcome back to a foreigner and family in the Philippines. And we're over here uh, at the mango tree, at one of the mango trees, uh, harvesting some mangoes. We got a, a brand new <laughs> fruit picker here <laughs> put together. It's just a, a piece of the uh, rebar, a, thi a thin piece of the rebar uh, made into a circle. And it has this little latch in here to where you can grab the whatever fruit you're using. We, I may, I, specifically, I suggest, I wanted it for uh, mangoes and, and avocados, but it, that, it'll work for a variety of fruits. So, Ryan's over here testing it out. Looks like it's working pretty good. Got a couple of mangoes there. And I don't know that we're harvesting this for market purposes, but we'll have some uh, personal consumption and, and, and give some to some friends and family uh, and we are working on planting some banana over here there are these are the banana suckers so they're just getting prepped taking off those little roots so they don't rot and cause fungus in the hole because some new ones are going to grow out anyway and putting a fresh a fresh cut on the top so a new sprout comes out and that is by far the best method I've seen for uh, uh, replanting or transplanting uh, bananas. Because if you just, even even the small ones, you transplant, the smaller the banana, the better it does when you transplant it. But if you, even those, they just have a recovery time. This is the, they come out strong. They don't have to, they're not focused on recovery. They're just focused on growth. So I won't be doing them any other way. And I experimented with uh, the banana transplants, uh, the small ones and the big ones, and and then after afterwards cutting it and or or just leaving if it was small enough. But yeah, they struggle with the recovery. And even though we got the fruit pickers, there were some that were easier to just just grab because it can be. A little awkward using the pole, but you can reach a lot of them now from the from the ground. And I just went into a little frenzy of mangoes just a minute ago, with some that had fallen on the ground. And that's I think that's when they're kind of the sweetest because they've already it's fully ripe because it's fall it's fallen off the tree. And those are so. But the, <laughs> the only drawback with that is some of them will have a little hole and a little. You'll have a little worm in there. And this is the one mango tree here, and there are a total of six. So it'll be interesting to see. Uh, I know last year we, we, I wasn't ready for uh, the mango season, and we ended up letting a lot of them fall on the ground, and, and they rotted, and they were just wasted, but... So this time I wanted to, when we're over here, at least see if we can get a, a couple of sacks. And if we get the boxes that we're supposed to put them in for, for market mangoes, then we'll see about maybe if we're getting enough of them to then maybe take to the market. If anyone's buying them. Excuse me. I've had, um, we've planted the, uh, the bananas on each side of the creek and I kind of like that. Um, help with some of the weed suppression down in the creek uh, as well as the bananas grow really well there. So on this little creek bed, we're going to go ahead on each side of it and add the bananas and then it actually goes back there quite a little ways and then up in the front here. There's actually a second one that runs over there and we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to plant a row of lack of tan bananas down each side of the creek uh, and they'll be three meters apart. So we'll see how that does. And there are some more mango trees around too. There's a mango over there.
And I know I can see one back. Not that big tree, but there's one down to the left of it. And I, I know I see some. They look, they look ripe on that one too. So we'll take a look at them. So we moved over to a, another tree over here. This one actually has the two trees over here. The only trouble with this one is that they have not been pruned, so they are huge trees. Well, this one is. This one's a big tree. The other one's not so big. And I made an attempt to get up and prune this one uh, this year in the dry season. However, uh, both of them had bees, so I was not able to uh, prune either one of these or the next one that we're going to go to. That And that bee was the worst. That's the one I did a jumping dive ninja roll out of and surprisingly did not get stung with a huge cloud of bees, which is surprising because it surprised the hell out of me because I've been stung quite a bit since I got here with the bees, but, and that one just, it, it was uh, 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 surrounded by a cloud of bees. It's like they got up, it was like a cartoon almost. Uh, and then they were kind of like deciding what they were gonna do. And then boom, felt like the attack order was, I, I made it just before the attack order. I'm glad to see we're getting these uh, mangoes and, and out of the tree and not off the, off the, they're great off the ground too. You just got to look them over and make sure they don't have a little, a hole in them. Um, but, because yeah, just wasted them last year and they're so good. And one of the reasons I moved here to the Philippines, I was going to live on a farm and be healthy and eat right. And it just hasn't happened. So it's just nice to get uh, something and something really tasty too off of the farm to eat, get some vitamins, some nutrients. But I also have that avocado tree, which I had those, I showed the video where they had come out. We only got 300 pesos for that sack of avocados. And it's like, so six bucks for a huge sack of uh, avocados. And it's just wasn't, just not worth it for that. And we only have the one tree, but I'd, I'd rather have our uh, fruit pickers and be able to snag some off the tree and make some tasty shakes. And and, uh, and it looks like the fruit pickers are working great, too. Uh, the guys are yeah, loading them up with four and five per, per go up. Looks like he's setting some off to the side, the not quite fully ripe ones, and then the ones that have maybe a whole reject ones off to the side there. So that's good. So we're just going to do this for a little bit. Uh, this morning and then uh, 
get back to getting those bananas planted down there. And you can see uh, Looney down there, he is actually uh, throwing in the fertilizer mix for the bananas and the holes that we had already pre-dug. We're actually putting in 385 uh, banana suckers today. So. I'll pause her there until we move to another location. Well, we are still in that same location. It's just he's gone gone to the air here. And I'm a little more prepared with getting the fruit pickers, but as far as it being this high, it's got to be tough because then you have no place to put them. We actually need a, you need a rope with a sack so that way you can hoist it up and, and load them up there while you're up there. And then lower it down and we didn't i didn't bring the i did not bring the rope today so I just have to use a little teamwork and kind of get them down next time uh, i need to remember the rope So there we go. Emil is feeding down some mangoes and uh, Ian's grabbing them with the, the sack down a little bit lower to try and get some of these up top. Okay, and so Emil could actually get a little bit higher. He actually took his jacket off, tied a, he, the way he tied it there, he's made a, a sack, so he's been loading it up some more up there. This is the one, I think last year I made that Foreigner Falls to His Death video because I was up there pretty high and this was the tree. Yes, this is a good view over here too. And just over that last uh, green hill that you see there, there, you see some mountains in the back, but there's actually the water uh, right over there, right over there. Um, on a clear day, I mean, it's it's usually it usually is clear, but it's not right now. Um, and I can you can see the water and and Cagayan de Oro city. And I'm really interested to see. There's a mango tree in the back. I want to see that one. I think I think I have a feeling it's loaded. And so this is the one we were looking at, and this is the one right next to it. Um, it's a smaller tree. It's like a remnants of a termite nest around it. I had left that, and there were these these logs from some other stuff that uh, up against this tree, and it was uh, causing some damage to the uh, uh, bark. So I had removed that. So it looks like it's doing better. It could have really rotted it, and I don't want to hurt it anymore.
but oh, I, I wanted to show this tree too. It's it's a much smaller tree. Looks like it, yeah, maybe that had some had some issues, but it seems to be producing okay here. But the mangoes on this one, they're not the same. They're right next to each other, but they're not the same. This the ones um, coming out of that tree are significantly larger uh, mangoes, and the ones that we were getting right next to it are very tasty. much smaller. Okay, so we made it over here on the back side to this tree that I really like. Uh, it's, it doesn't seem to be as loaded as it was last year but I do like these. Emil, do you know what kind of mangoes these are? The type of mango? It is Pajo. Okay. Which I guess is the folks say it's the lesser of the mangoes because it's got a lot of fiber in it. It's got some fibers when you bite into it but I seem to, I seem to like them. Very sweet, they're a little smaller. Although on the way over here, that one, one of those large ones, I had grabbed one of those and it does have a, a like a, I don't know, they're really sweet too, but it just has a different kind of a, a pulpy flesh that's, yeah, and it is less, does have less uh, the fibers in it which I guess if you were kind of cutting it it would be bad but it's the one I'm eating it when you're just peeling it off and eating it it seems to uh, you don't really even get those fibers because you're just kind of pulling them pulling your teeth you're pulling the fruit away from it anyway and I did I went into mango madness I've had a bunch of these already here this morning, and I'm hoping to disprove that uh, that uh, mangoes can give you diarrhea thing, because I've, I've definitely had a whole lot of mangoes today, and I'm gonna, I plan on having a whole lot more. So, that reminds me, yeah, you do see, because I see there's so many different varieties, and, and folks, they have their... There's one channel that I watch and he goes over to us like a specialized mango person and they go, they have the special cut that they put on the mango, but these I just tear open with my teeth and dig in. So That's enough for mangoes today. I'll go ahead and stop her there. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.